uh, five British people and one fake person, yeah? Five. <laughs> Oh, I swear down these Jubilee videos, man. The producers that make these ideas, man. Oh my goodness. They're too good. Too good. Too good. Let's see if we can suss out all together, yeah? Who is a fake person? Let's see. Let's go. British. I am British. I'm British. I'm British. I'm British. I'm British. I can't lie. I already know who's fake. I already know who's fake. I already know who's fake. Wait, do I know who's fake? No, no, no. I don't know who's fake. I don't know who's fake. I don't know who's fake. Why am I nervous? Is anyone else nervous? <laughs> I'm nervous too. <laughs> I'm actually a dual citizen, uh, US and UK. I um, grew up in England, in London, and I moved to America when I was 12. So you'll hear I have a bit of a like funky accent. I'm not a dual citizen. I'm a citizen of the UK, but I also moved when I was 12. And oh, cool. my accent, for the most part, I think I still sound kind of British. Yeah. She's yeah. definitely oh, British. I'm a citizen of the UK. Um, I spent about four years in India, so I got a bit of that as well. And I moved to the US two years ago for UCLA. So I'm a student right now. I'm also a citizen of the UK. I moved to the US two months ago. Um, I lived in Canada before that for four years, which was horrible because I hate the cold. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. I've lived here for 11 years. I'm from Liverpool. Um, um, yeah, I've been here. Wait, how come you don't sound like a Scouser though? If you, li if you live in Liverpool, why is he not sounding like a Scouser? I know not every person that lives in Liverpool has a Scouser accent, I know. But do you get what I'm saying? This guy is capping. A long time, so my accent kind of sounds muddled, but I'm a scouser. Scout? A what? What did, he, no, no, what did he say? A skizzer. What? Nah, this is the fakest scouser I've ever seen in my life. Time, so my accent kind of sounds muddled, but I'm a scouser. Oh, it's a scouser. Nah, he's capping. Um, he's capping. Um... Nah, 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 nah. This guy. <laughs> Why does he look like a cartoon? No, nah, this guy, this guy is not the English. This is not, this one's not British. <laughs> Chat, this one's not British. This is my, I'm going for this one. This is me. I'm sticking with this guy. You see from this jacket, yeah? The drip is so American. Man's got the, you, you see in London, I think we got to double XL. Over in America, they go to triple, triple. This is a triple XL. This guy's America. I promise you, you got this from the thrift shop in America. I moved here when I was 12. Nice. Nah, oh, well, I got my dual citizenship when I was twelve. Nice, so people got their dual citizenships at twelve. <laughs> oh, yeah, bro. Eyes on you. Look, at, look me in the eye right now. Do you know one British person called Rocco? Rocco is such an American name. Nah, this guy's American, man. Yeah, <laughs> get him out of it. Get him out of here, man. Not very <laughs> get him out of it. I said it first. That's true. That's true. You're from London. Where in the UK are you from? Yeah, London. London. Yeah, yeah. Leicester. Liverpool. Liverpool. Where are you from? London. Oh, London. London. <laughs> I'm from Manchester. What part of London? Peckham. What? What am I saying? What am I? Nah, nah, nah. Fuck off, man. Nah, get out of it. Bro said Peckham. Nah, get out of it. Get out of it. Get out of it. Rocco, get the hell out of it. Nah, shut up. Bro's nah from Peckham. I'll oh, get out of here, man. Get, I'm, hey, listen. You see, during this whole video, I'm onto this guy. You know, I'm onto him. Of London. I'm, I'm onto Manchester. this guy. What part um, of London? Peckham. No way. Okay, I'm from Upper Norwood. Yeah. Where West, specifically in West. London? West. Okay. Yeah. I'm from Leicester and Wigston. Oh, okay, nice. Where in Liverpool? I studied there. Um, I was I was born in uh, West Derby. Okay. Mm. Wigston. That's right near uh, Oldby. Yes. Market Harbour. Market Harbour. Sounds familiar. Uh, bro, yeah. he's capping. I, mean, I, he's I like, grew up in a nah. very small bubble. <laughs> I mean, my parents would take me everywhere. Um, and I grew up in India for like 14 to 18. And then go back to the UK, finish up my school there. And How long in. were you in Leicester for? I went from zero to 14. I was born in Leicester. Yeah. That's cool. I feel like someone from Leicester would have automatically known where Market Harbour is. I'm from Manchester and I know where Market Harbour is. It's a tiny little town. I don't know a lot about English geography because I was so in my own world. And yeah, my parents would take me around everywhere. So it, his story was convincing to me because that's similar to my story. What were you guys' don't first Don't worry, you're good, man. Really? Big. Uh, do you know why I know she's deaf or British as well? Because she has good teeth. Steve, shout out to NHS and that. She got good teeth, man. She's good. Rocco, I'm on to you. I'm on to Rocco so bad. You don't understand. That guy is not from Peckham. Well, Big, right? Yeah, it's like, like oh huge my God. portions with their food. Like every Literally, plate is like their medium so sized big. pizza is our large yeah. size pizza. Yeah. It's overwhelmed. The Imperial system. Uh, yes. <laughs> Horrible. Well, I've been here for two months. I'm still trying to get used to Fahrenheit. And it's really stressing yeah. me out. The the temperature is one. Things like that, you know. And like I work off a 24-hour clock. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I still got that. Get this guy. Get this guy. Oh, everything, get this Everything, everything whatever the price is, oh, it's a, like at least three dollars. We can stay in this conversation for ages. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a lot of questions, like people assume because you're British, you like something. Yeah, yeah. So when One Direction was big, they're like, you're British, you like One Direction. I was yeah, like, yeah. I <laughs> have heard maybe two of their songs. Or like Harry Potter, Hot Take. I haven't seen all of the movies. I've only seen like Same. Two. Yeah, yeah same, yeah. same, same. I'm sorry, I know. That's like the peak British thing and I haven't done it. Or well, like the first thing they say is like talk about tea or yeah, and right. tea all right, all right, Dala, this guy sold. You, I'm gonna tell you how this guy sold, and I told you that like, I'm onto this guy. Yeah, did you just see he wanted to say water, but he stopped and went. He's he's definitely not British, isn't it? And you know how like Americans get onto us and they're like, why do you say water? Why do you say water? Water? He was gonna say he didn't know how to say it, so he had to stop and then say it. Do you know what I'm saying? That's why I think this guy is just, he's, uh, he's deaf for America, man. He has to. I don't know. He's, uh, he could be from anywhere, but he's not British. That's what I'm saying. No, that's like yeah, the that's peak British thing and I have That's what I'm saying. Well, like the first thing they say is like, talk about tea or water. Yeah, right. Tea water. Always, oh, yeah. They, always, uh, they always say, say water. Or like, pip pip cheerio. Yeah. Like, sorry, no one says that. Okay, so it is American. Yeah, okay. Okay. His story at first kind of seemed like he was just making something up. I like you, Ronya. You're the worst British accent I've heard ever. <laughs> I'm, I'm so convinced, Tim. He didn't know his geography. Oh. I, I was just shocked. I was a bit sheltered, but so I didn't know my geography very well. <laughs> but I was wondering when they're going to get Michael out. That was surprising. Yeah, he sounded very British. Actually. I think it's a joke. I think everyone's British. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like when, when I meet people, they always say, oh, you're from London. They automatically like, yeah, yeah, assume yeah. everyone's from London. I'm yeah, like, no, yeah. I'm from Liverpool. They're yeah. like, oh, the Beatles. And they mentioned the Beatles, but <laughs> the UK is so big. Like, they just think it's just like I can't lie. Nobody has never, ever, ever mentioned the Beatles to me when I said I'm from London. I'm not going to lie. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think I've had one conversation about the Beatles, bro. Literally, as soon as I say I'm from London, people are like, oh, you guys shank each other there, knife each other there, bro. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about, I don't get no Beatles conversation. <laughs> hey, we're living in a whole different world, boy. Let me tell you that. Hey, let me tell you that. If I'm, if I'm Liverpool, no, but he said he didn't. Wait, did he say when he's from Liverpool? Did he say when he's from the UK? Oh, okay, he said Liverpool. Okay, 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 okay. All right, fair play. Okay, fair play, fair play. All right, all right, all right. It's London. funny because I feel like a fake when I say I'm from London because it's like, oh, of course you're from London. I spoke to someone that thought London was the country. England is oh. my city. One time oh. someone asked me, are you from England or Britain? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's because Americans don't know geography <laughs> at all. I will say, <laughs> since living here, I have felt my just general world knowledge declining as I go through the <laughs> education no, she's system. Definitely I don't know British. anything about anywhere anymore. For me, since I moved when I was 12, which is... Uh, seventh grade here in the States. She mentioned um, seventh grade, and usually we say year seven or year mm. eight or year nine, and it just threw me off. The biggest change I noticed was how students address their teachers. Like, it's very informal, you know? Whereas I think growing up in England, like, you would never question your teacher, you know? Or, like, I feel like the parents have that kind of... What school did you go to? <laughs> it was funny because obviously Wait, growing up in England, um, you wear uniforms all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was lavender in the summertime with white socks. Yeah, you have a winter and, and summer you, uniform. Summer uniform yeah. and a PE uniform that changes based <laughs> Look, on back the then, Wait, hold on, wait, what the fuck? Wait, hold on. Nah, wait. They're actually backwards. Hold on, nah. I, is it mad if I want to see a 360? I actually want to see if there's a zip at the back because I'm genuinely in, intrigued now. Do you go to? I'm genuinely intrigued. All the thinking about it, like I feel like I'm... Wait, hold on. What style is this? Wait, hold on. Nah, okay, nah, the zip's there. That, that, raw, this is a different reverse cargo jeans, raw. So glad that we had a uniform in school oh, because yeah, yeah. the poor fashion choices I made at 13. Yeah. I'm yeah. so glad it I didn't have to go to school dressed up. How about everyone yeah. talking about his jeans like, and he talks about fashion? And want to disassociate from the, whoever that girl was. And my British accent is. Shut up, man. She was a little bit quieter than the rest of the group. <laughs> what? Uh, oh. 
like us. <laughs> you guys did good. You guys did good. I Rock think roll. I said grade seven. There are words mm. that I say in the American way now. Raise your hand if you think the mole is still in the box and you'd wish to continue the game. I'm raising my hand. Raise your hand. Rocco is there, bro. Right, majority rules. That means we move on to round three. So you guys still think the mole's in the box right now? 100%. Who? Who well, do you think I it have is? No suspicions well, I have who, do you, who do you think it is? Well, we can't tell you right can now, can we? Yeah. I thought you guys were all British. Like, I really was ready to Honestly, ready to win. Honestly, starting to pick up on some uh, accent glitches. I'm just a really suspicious person, generally. Okay. <laughs> if you had to pick one item from a supermarket, what was it like? Get Rocco out. From that store? So, Get him out. Chocolate fingers. <gasps> Hey, this is a really random thing to say, but the meal deal, the Tesco meal oh deal. Oh my God, yes. They're always the best. I, ironically, there were these, it came in a yellow package. It was like an American pancake. It was so good, you put it in the toaster. Don't sell. Why are you selling now, man? You're selling. Rela Why do you have to do this? She's going to get booted out now. Oh, she, she's trying to do the most. Oh my it was, it God. It came in a yellow package. It was like an American pancake. Oh my God. Pancake. It was so good. You put it in the toaster, really? and I put it in yeah. the toaster all the time. It was really tasty. It was just a generic. I think it was. I don't know that one. Was, I I know that one. <laughs> but it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't something notable. What would you get? The prawn cocktail sandwich, <gasps> definitely. Oh no, I like this crisp. The prawn cocktail yeah, yeah. crisp. Pink one. I think the crisps I miss the most are Monster Munch and Quavers. I was going to say Quavers. Quavers. I was going to say Quavers. Quavers. <laughs> what's it? Crinkle cut what? cheesy what's it? No. I don't think <laughs> what's it. No. no. I mean, what about discos? Do you guys like discos? This goes. Yeah, so this goes the crisps. Yeah. This goes. They have like a bunch of flavors. They're like old school ones. Old school. I see them in a minute. Oh no, no, they're no, not no, here no, at all. No, no. He didn't know what discos were. I mean, okay, well, he can't be British. <laughs> My initial suspicion. I can't lie. This goes. That's old school. She doing a sense or talk too much, baiting herself out. Crazy. Michael. What? I don't know. <laughs> Just out of every suspicions. On. Okay, well, he can't be British. <laughs> My initial suspicions. Michael. What? I don't know. <laughs> Just out of everybody. It's probably my accent. Like no, I'm from not even from. the accent. I think also too. You're yeah. the only one who didn't raise your hand. In I really thought that. Because I, mean, I thought not you guys were good. Means, again, I was like, okay, these are my fellow Brits right and here. And then you said I thought you all were British. There were just some things. No one has like, that much British camaraderie. I'm not saying it is you. Okay. I'm just saying out of everyone who it could have been in my mind. Okay. It Shit. was closer to. I'd rather not say. So now you look suspicious. <laughs> nah. I don't trust anyone. You could all be lying to me. <laughs> if it's any, I mean, I don't know if this is cheating, but I literally have a tattoo on my body of my postcode. And we're going. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> nah, nah, hold on, hold on. How can you, what? Nah, she's a gangbanger. I don't care what no one says. Feds, they need to come lock her up. Who the hell gets the postcode? Bro, tied on them. She's a G, bro, she's a GB, bro. What? Nah, lock her up. What the hell am I hearing? <laughs> I have a postcode tattooed on my body. I want to know where that postcode is. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Nah, Talk about postcode wars and shit. What the any, hell? I mean, I don't know if this is cheating, but I literally have a tattoo on my body of my postcode. And we're going. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> He didn't know what disco chips were. <laughs> you <his> mother? <laughs> yeah. Okay, wait, you know. I'm surprised. He knows, I, you know. I'm really bitter about being voted out. <laughs> Just because somebody doesn't know the same snack as you does not mean that their nationality should be questioned. <laughs> if you think the mole is still in the box and you'd like to continue the game, raise your hand. But I'm raising my hand. Get this guy out. Uh, I still feel she might be the mole. Get Rocco out. Really? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Mm -hmm. I'm really like, huh? I mean, I guess. Continue. Okay, so you got your dual citizenship when you were 12. Did you move with your family and where did you move to? I got sponsored by my auntie. Sponsored? Yeah, we got sponsored from when we were really young, so pretty much when we were born. By the time it came through, that was a waiting list back then, so wow. it, we came through when we were 12. You see the way he's talking and trying to lie? Nah, bro, this is like me, yeah? When I used to get caught trying to steal meat from the prop, from the pot when I was young. And you get caught and you're like, yeah, so this is what I was doing. I was like, doing this and that. Like, do you not, bro, why is he? 
Get him out, man. Get him out. Get him out. Get him out. I'm tired of this guy, bro. Get him out. This is Rocco. Rocco is the fake one. Get him out, man. When we were kids, we used to come every year. My mum wanted us to move you know, or have the option to be able to go back and forth. You know? I've been here for 11 years. I came in 2012 and I originally came over to see my sister. She lives in North Carolina. She has her own little deli, so I was helping her out. And then in 2014, I moved to LA and I've been here since. Yeah. Your turn. Okay, yeah. I know I, you guys are like yeah. ganging up on me. No, so no, no. my dad works at an IT company. Okay. And so they asked if he could be the manager in LA and we all moved and we've been here for 12 years. Okay. Went to school here. You said you go to UCLA, yeah? I go to UCLA. I'm studying linguistic anthropology, minoring in French. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> Linguistic anthropology. Linguist yeah. Do you know a lot about football? No. Like, do you know any of the teams in the Premier League? Well, okay. I never got also? into football okay. really when I was there. I only supported the teams that my friends. Which ones? What teams? So, Ch obviously, Chelsea, mm -hmm. Arsenal, Man U were like the main ones. Mm -hmm. I don't watch sports okay. so in true. general, really. Okay. Um, if a game's on, if the World Cup's on, obviously, You'll watch it. England all the way. I don't really watch too much football, but if you grow up in England, You'll, you'll know about the Premier League. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no. Hey, she's just named Gosh, them though. Hard. Let Rocco get out, man. Rocco get out. Rocco get out. What? Oh. I had my. a feeling. Guys are wrong. Oh I think they'd made God. a pact. <laughs> and I was just the only one not in that pact. Oh. Do you feel confident my. in your choice? I do. What? Definitely. You're not the mole, are you? <laughs> no. Okay, good. If the lights turn green, that means that you have voted the mole out and you both win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box. Chat, you think it's going green or red? Chat, you guys think it's going green or red? I think the mole is still here, man. It's Rocco. <laughs> it's Rocco, man. I think it's Rocco. It's definitely Rocco. It has to be. But let's see. Let's see, chat. And you lose. So, if you did, you did a good job. No, I'm coming from. Yeah, nothing to worry about. Three, two, one. What? The mole reveal themselves in three, two, one. Oh! oh wow. What? Nah, how? How? Oh, I thought this brother was from Leicester. Are you I kidding me? How? That was my first pick, man. <laughs> hey, Rocco, change your swag, man. He wears some big ass jumper for throwing me off like that, man. Coming like some cartoon player, bruv. What? Come on, man. I mean, I got it from the get go. You knew it was Tejas and you continued to play. <laughs> I told you it's all about Bro, the Come Janeiro. with a big jacket, a, a trucker cap. Get me. Say, water. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, just, ah. Oh. Could even name the Premier League team. Just throwing me off, bro. I, I studied, but not, not the geography. I was looking at the map, but I didn't recognize uh, all the places. And I could always do somewhat of a British accent, uh, or at least I thought I could. And then I just Googled, like, where's the most amount of brown people from <laughs> no, the I was like, plated lesser, right now. lesser it is. Your accent was really good. Yeah, so really? I was saying, yeah. I, I had some, somewhat of a plan, but not knowing geography is pretty American. So I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Flabbergasted. <laughs> Dumbstruck. <laughs> Bewildered. He probably sounded more British than Oh, me. don't worry, girl. We knew you were British. Don't worry. We knew you were British, 100%. <laughs> I, I guess I have a joke. I'm not sure it's very funny. Uh, but what would you call my leaving the box in the first round? Brexit. Love great when we make up And your friends trying to break up No, I don't do breaks, nah, no. Nah. I love you right, I will I love you right, I will I love you like